Today I've got a new pair of headphones. These took forever to get to me for some reason. Sometimes uh, when companies reach out to me uh, to review earbuds, they will send me an Amazon promo code. It, you can't, I don't think on Amazon you can give like a 100% free promo code, so the, it's like 99%. So I always end up paying like a dollar or something. Um, but sometimes people send me things directly. Uh, and this is one of those things. Um, I had them send it to me at the office. It took so long to get to me that I kind of forgot and I thought maybe they weren't going to be sending these. But here they are. They are Origem um, headphones, the HS1. Okay, and everything kind of fell apart. It was really nice and pretty, but uh, I kind of messed it up. So everything was like tucked into this thing here. And oh, this is interesting. Uh, they don't come with the ear things on them, but they had this nice, uh, this was one where I probably should have got my like overhead rig for it because they had this nice like thing set up here. But when I opened up the box, everything like popped out. So now I've got to figure out which one of these I like. Some of them are dark color. Some of them are light color. So I'm going to go with these smaller squishy uh, foam ones. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I'm about to go for my Saturday long run. Maybe not long run, maybe a medium run today. It's only 19 degrees out, so I don't know. Oh boy. I think I broke it. When you put them on, they mush uh, up quite a bit. Uh, yeah, okay, the foam's coming back. There's like a little logo on the back. It looks kind of like a Tesla logo. I'm sure that's intentional. Let's get these in. Feels pretty good. What's in here? So inside this packet, there was this packet. I don't know what's in this packet. Oh, these things to make the fit a little bit more snug. These little things can go on here and like hook in to your ear. I'll try putting some of these on too. But that means I gotta, uh, that means I gotta take these gray things off and those were annoying to get in. All right, not gonna do that. It also comes with one of these brackets. These help you kind of wrangle some of the extra cable that's here. I'll do that later. I'm gonna get these on and paired. I'm gonna go for my run. Uh, since it's so cold out, I've got my super thick running mittens. I've got my balaclava and I've got my hand warmers. You're not gonna really see much of the headphones uh, as they're in for the run, but I'll take them along with me and let you know how I do. Just out of comparison, here are my uh, favorite earbuds that I normally uh, run in, at least in the winter time. Uh, are these, these are from Taotronics. Um, these, uh, they are, they stick out the least. And so when you're wearing a hat, um, it's really nice. And then these are my favorite for just all around. If I'm commuting, uh, I like these. These are V-Nax earbuds. Uh, these are really nice because the base is just amazing. So we'll see how these ones do. These are the Origem HS ones. So far, the experience has been a little bit awkward getting these like mushy things on. And uh, these things stick out really far from my head. And so it'll be interesting to see what they feel like um, with the balaclava. the top of the lakefront trail with a literal turn around uh, just shy of four miles into the run these headphones they're average i would say pairing process was normal and as i would expect sound is normal the fit is normal and i thought because these were a little bit wider i was expecting a better range of sound but it just is normal.
is the home stretch. Just about three miles left. Just finished the run, 13 and a half miles, about 8.20 per mile. Right now, this audio is coming to you from uh, the earbuds. So I might boost it a little bit uh, in post, which is what I normally do uh, for the GoPro footage and any iPhone footage that I shoot anyway. So it's not something different I have to do. Um, but to just give you a sense of what, uh, what the audio is like coming out of the mic here. Uh, overall, I just ran for uh, almost two hours with these. Very comfortable, very soft, uh, This the plush, uh, mushy stuff in here. Um, I could already feel like, even though the balaclava was like strapping everything to my ears, I constantly felt like this was popping out a little bit as I was getting a little bit sweaty. And so uh, I definitely am gonna need the ear hook parts uh, if I'm gonna go on a run in like a normal hat or, or without um, like a skull cap or beanie on. Uh, but if I had like a regular like ball cap, uh, I don't know that I could run with these uh, in the summertime. Um, I just think that they would fall out uh, as, I get, as I get sweaty. But I'll take them on another run tomorrow using the other, like the rubber, not the, like the foam, but the rubber uh, ear pieces. And I'll put the ear hook things in and see how that goes. Yo, what's going on?